January 2020, coronavirus started spreading rapidly in China. Sure, it made some news. WHO was concerned and called it a public health emergency of international concern. But by and large, the rest of the world went on with their lives as if this did not matter. By March, it spread all over the world. COVID-19 was declared a pandemic and one after the other, countries started to panic. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Why was there this delay in action and reaction? Is it just misplaced optimism and ignorance? Isn't there also an element of apathy? The sense of detachment and unwillingness to take action until we ourselves have been directly affected. This was just an example at the scale of nations. But to understand apathy, it is not required to go so far. We only need to look within ourselves. Just ask yourself, how much did the news of lockdown and deaths in Italy affect us until these became possibilities and realities in our own country, town or village? The refugee crisis in Syria, the global poverty, the war in Yemen, senseless child fatalities from conflict, drastic climatic change. These are some of the most heartbreaking images of the last year, rising from war, conflict, poverty, disaster and desperation. Yet, these images do not really break our hearts. Why is that? When an image or video like this goes viral, I believe that the emotions that we feel is real. The emotions that almost force us to click the like, share or forward button. But unfortunately, these feelings are also short-lived, lasting only until the next viral meme comes along. This generation, this era, is a contradiction of sorts. Social media connections are increasing exponentially, but social connections are decreasing drastically. We are living in one of the most apathetic times in history. Are we heartless or are we ruthless? No, I believe we are not inherently evil. We are not even emotionless. But then why is that we are unable to feel, to connect, to empathize without prejudice, doubt or fear? Three reasons. One, we fear being vulnerable. We are afraid of showing our emotions. When our large close-knit communities got replaced by small nuclear families, our circle of vulnerability got smaller too. Secondly, increasingly we do not know how to gracefully accept kindness much less give it. We are almost embarrassed by being kind and receiving kindness. Thirdly, what we need to understand is that our apathy, our indifference is a mask. It's a coping mechanism, a kind of self-defense mechanism that we humans have painfully developed over years to ensure our survival. We simply fear that the trauma around us would break us. But now, in 2020 and beyond, Survival is going to be a collective effort and this means we need to open ourselves, move beyond our comfort zones and connect as a community. And right now, more than ever, our community, our societies, our earth needs us. Have you noticed kindness offers us both the giver and recipient with an afterglow, a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment? But you may ask yourself, what can I, one man or woman or child, out of 7.6 billion too. You may say, I'm not an activist, I'm an ordinary person. Or, I'm too young, I'm too old. Or, I have obligations, I have dreams. My own survival is at stake here. How can I take care of others when I'm not okay? How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet, this is I'm one of Greta the Thunberg. Ones. A 16-year-old Swedish teenager. This is her protesting in August 2018 outside Swedish Parliament against inaction by governments on climate change. Her initiative, Fridays for Future, 
inspired millions of school students across the world to strike from schools, protest on Fridays, and fight for our planet. One year later, she has changed from a selectively mute autism spectrum teenager into a global change maker and named the Times Person of the Year 2019. So have faith in yourself. Let us break our patterns, our mask of invisibility, and start being the change that we wish to see in the world.